Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you are fine. In our lecture today, we will discuss chapter 21 in Wuthering Heights, a novel by Emily Pranti. In this lecture of Wuthering Heights by Emily Pranti, we will discuss the summary of chapter 21. That includes the Morse, Kathy and Heathcliff, Kathy's visit to Wuthering Heights, and Edgar and Kathy. Also, in this lecture, we will discuss the commentary of chapter 21 that contains Heathcliff's plan and Nellie, Heathcliff and Edgar's will, Kathy's visit to Linton, Kathy and Nellie, and lastly, we have a development in the plot in this chapter. The characters in chapter 21, however, are Linton, Harriton, Kathy, Nellie, Heathcliff, and Edgar. Setting Places, Wuthering Heights, Thrushcross Grange, and the Moors. Time before 1801. Now moving on to the summary of chapter 21. Actually, in the summary of chapter 21, we have three important points. The first point is about the Moors, Kathy and Heathcliff. So, three years later, with the memory of Linton erased from her mind, Kathy and Nellie are both birds hunting and exploring on the moors. On her part, Kathy moves more quickly than Nellie does, and before Nellie can stop them, Kathy is speaking with Heathcliff. However, while speaking with Heathcliff, Kathy notices Harriton and remarks that she has met him before. On his part, Heathcliff cannot respond to that, but she does mention that she has met his son before and encourages Kathy and Nellie to visit his house. The second important point in the summary of chapter 21 is Kathy's visit to Wuthering Heights. What about it? Well, Nellie knows that this is not a good idea to visit Wuthering Heights. However, she is unable to convince Kathy not to go because Kathy is eager to determine who Heathcliff's son is. On his part, Heathcliff mentions to Nellie his desire to have the cousins fall in love and get married, as we have said before. When Kathy and Linton do meet, they do not recognize each other at first. Although Linton is now taller than Kathy is, he is still quite sickly. And willing to show Kathy around the farmhouse at first, Linton stays inside while Harriton leaves to show his cousin Wuthering Heights. Heathcliff then sends Linton after his cousins, and as he leaves, Nolly hears Kathy mock Harriton's inability to read. And as you see here, Kathy's visit to Wuthering Heights is important because it is the beginning of Kathy's relationship with both Linton and Harriton, her cousins. Moving on to the third important point in the summary of chapter. 21 is Kathy and Edgar. 
Well, as Kathy visits Wuthering Heights, the next day Kathy reveals everything about her visit to her father. On his part, Edgar tries to explain to Kathy why he kept her from her cousins and her uncle, Heathcliff, but she does not understand his reasoning. Edgar also commands his daughter not to have any contact with Linton. But this upsets Kathy greatly. And she begins to have a secret letter writing relationship with him. Letter writing relationship with Linton. On her part, Nellie discovers what Kathy has been doing and destroys Linton's letters. To Kathy, but Nolly does not tell Edgar about them. Okay, now after giving a brief summary to chapter 21, we will move on to the commentary of the chapter. In the commentary of chapter 21, also, we have some important points. The first point is about Heathcliff's plan and Nully. Actually, Heathcliff reveals his plan to Nully and the readers. As we have previously said, that he wants to make a marriage between his son Linton and Kathy in order to take Thrushcross Grange. So, along with his rationale that he is doing this only as a safeguard against legal disputes. It is interesting that he still considers Nelly a confident. Often in the past she took his side and he clearly still thinks he can manipulate her. However, Nelly's concern is Edgar. So, he is correct in his assumptions. For as he convinces Kathy to seek out his son, Nelly's chief concern is that Edgar will find out of the visit and she laments, and I shall have the play. So, Nelly is afraid of Edgar's reaction. The second important point in chapter 21 is Heathcliff and Edgar's will. Well, actually, in chapter 21, After Heathcliff reveals his plan and Nelly counters that Kathy would be Edgar's heir, Heathcliff's response foreshadows the fact that Edgar's lawyer is now on Heathcliff's payroll. So Heathcliff made Edgar's lawyer work with him. Why? For Heathcliff knows that there is no clause in the world to secure it. So, the only way he could know what Edgar's will stated is by being privy to it. And there is no way that Edgar would have allowed Heathcliff to know the contents of his will. Therefore, Edgar's lawyer must have shown Heathcliff, or at least shared the contents of the will with Heathcliff. Most importantly, 
the third important point in the commentary of chapter 21 is Kathy's visit to Linton. Well, Kathy visits Wuthering Heights. So when Nelly and Kathy arrive at Wuthering Heights, Linton has grown, but is still as disagreeable as ever. He joins Kathy in making fun of Harriton's lack of a formal education. And whines about not being able to travel the four miles to Thrushcross Grange. Logically, he argues, he is too sick to travel. Therefore, Kathy must visit him. So, not being able to visit Thrushcross Grange, Nellie and Denton started to correspond each other by letters. The fourth important point here in the commentary of chapter 21 is the relationship between Kathy and Nellie. So, Once again, Nellie's priorities seem to be skewed. Instead of telling Edgar about Kathy's letter writing, she takes it upon herself to burn them all, only threatening to tell Edgar. So Nellie keeps Kathy's secret the same way that Kathy kept. Nelly's secret in chapter 18. When Kathy decides with Nelly not to tell Edgar of Kathy's visit to Wuthering Heights because neither wants Nelly to lose her position at the Grange. Thus, Nelly here is acting as Kathy's friend. So each one of them kept the other's secrets in order to protect each other. However, Nelly will not always keep Kathy's secrets, as we will soon find out. Lastly, overall, in the commentary of chapter 21, we have a development in the plot. So, the main events in this chapter are that at the age of 16, Catherine happens to meet Heathcliff in the course of one of her rambles and is informed by him that he is her uncle and that he had never visited the Grange because her father had once quarreled with him and brought to an end the relationship between them. The second point that he's taken Catherine who is accompanied by Nelly to Wuthering Heights and he's introducing her to his son Linton. However, this meeting between Catherine and Heathcliff, followed by her meeting with Linton, is crucial so far, as this part of the plot is concerned. And this part of the plot means the story of the second or third generation of characters. Also, a correspondence soon begins between Catherine and Linton. But as soon as the secret correspondence is discovered by Nelly, she, under the instructions of her master Edgar, 
puts a stop to it. So Nelly's role in this whole episode is not worthy. While she does accompany Catherine to the highest, she does so very much against her own will, doing so only under the pressure of Heathcliff and to satisfy Catherine's whim. It is also not worthy that Catherine now develops a sort of liking for Heathcliff, who has told her that he is her uncle. She finds fault with her father for having quarreled and broken of his relationship with Heathcliff. Nevertheless, her father tries to explain to her that the quarrel was not his fault, but Heathcliff. Also, what is important in this chapter, and the development of the plot, is Heathcliff's manner of having brought up Harriton as a prude. It is also to be noted that no fresh light has been thrown on the characters of Heathcliff, and Edgar, with whom we are already fully acquainted. But what we already know of them is confirmed by some further evidence. It is chiefly the character of Heathcliff, a respect of which our opinion is reinforced by some additional information. Talking tonally, Heathcliff claims that he has brought up Harriton and Lee's son as brute, as we have said before and that he has taken care to see that the young man has neither received any education nor been civilized by any kind of decent social contact. Heathcliff has brought up Harriton in this manner in order to take his revenge upon Hindley, as we all know, who had badly treated Heathcliff when the latter was only a lad. So this chapter reveals Heathcliff as a diabolical man. So Heathcliff here makes the following claim with regard to his disposition achievement in bringing up Harriton, and he'll never be able to emerge from his bathos of coarseness and ignorance. I've got him faster than his scoundrel of a father skewed me, and Lawa, for he takes a pride in his brutishness. Furthermore, Heathcliff here adds that he has rendered the first-rate qualities of Harriton unveiling by completely suppressing or extinguishing them. In view of the way Heathcliff talks about the damage that he has done to a young and promising lad gives us the impression that he is a real devil. When therefore Edgar tells his daughter Catherine that Heathcliff is a most diabolical man who wishes to ruin everybody whom he hates. We are inclined to agree with him. In addition to this, part of plus development in this chapter, there is a further development in the character of Catherine as we are told that she is very fond of her father, that she has reached her full height, that her figure is both plump and slender, and that she is sparkling with health and spirits. On the contrary, Linton is depicted a sickly young man whose looks and movements are very weak, but 
whose manner is graceful. We are also told something about Harrison. This young man has gained nothing during the years that have passed. All he has gained is increased bulk and strength. Otherwise, he seems as awkward and rough as he was two years before. As for his general outlook upon life and his general behavior, Heathcliff, as we have seen above, gives a complete picture to Nelly. In the end, we talked about Heathcliff's plan. Heathcliff here frankly tells Nelly what his design with regard to Catherine is. He wants that Kathy and Linton should fall in love and get married so that the property at Thrushcross Grange may become his son's property. That was the end of our lecture today. For further reading, please refer to these references. Next lecture, I will discuss chapters 22 to 24 in Wuthering Heights. Thank you very much for your time and good luck.